Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Captain Creativity. I am your host, David Merrill, and I'm here at Rapid TCT in Los Angeles. I'm excited to check out Anycubic's booth. They actually have the Cobra 3, and I can't wait to get my hands on it, check it out for myself. So stay tuned. Welcome to the show that sets your mind free. Now, if you're into 3D printing, Anycubic is a pretty well-known name, and they just came out with a great new product called the Cobra 3, and it is an amazing product here. As you can see here, the Cobra 3 actually can be combined as a combo with their new multi-filament system called the, the Ace Pro. And uh, what's really great about the Ace Pro that separates itself from a lot of the competitors out there is that it is not only a multi-color filament system, but it's also an active dryer. So you see, when you look at other companies, whether it's the Bamboo AMS or whether it's the Creality CFS, those are not active dryers. And so what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to put in these packets in there to dry the filament. Well, not with this. With this, you don't have to do that. You literally put it in, and it's gonna keep it dry and keep it ready for, it, for your prints on an ongoing basis. The build and the form factor, it is a bed slinger, but it actually goes upwards of like 600 millimeters per second. Another really cool thing about it is that it has all those auto calibration capabilities. So you really could just take it out, put it together, and then just start printing, which is fantastic. They use their own slicer, Eddie Cubic slicer, but you, you can try, and I know they are working with other slicers, for third-party support as well. But anyway, if you take a look at over here, I'm gonna just show you some of the things that they can make here. I mean, this is just, look at that, that's unbelievable. They have all these different designs that they've done. It's just, and it really works, it works. One other thing, you know, obviously this is a very noisy environment, but I'm standing right next to it and it's insanely quiet, like ridiculously quiet. So I really commend them on that. I think that, you know, when we are thinking about putting this in our homes or in our classroom, you know, one of the things is it's noise factor. And this is definitely one of the quietest 3D printers I've, I've been next to. And you, you barely can hear any of it, which is really good. I think what's also great about having this unit in your classroom is the fact that it is an active dryer because you know, at the end of the day, most teachers or students, they're not gonna start taking the filament out of the draw, you know, they're not gonna take the filament off of the rolls and out of the printers. So they, they tend to like leave them on. For example, on the A1 Mini, I tend to like leave them on the, on, on the, on the printer. Uh, the problem is I could come back a few days later and then all of a sudden it's all like, like cracked and, and, and brittle. Uh, but what's nice about this is that you put it in the dryer and you just, you don't have to worry about it. It's always going to be ready for you to print. And you don't have to deal with any of those packets. You don't have to swap them out. You just, the dryer is an active dryer. It takes care of all of that for you. One of the cool things about it is that they're working right now on a hub that will allow you to expand this to multiple units. I think up to a, a, another one, so possibly up to eight. And I'm just very happy to see them come out with a very fast printer because obviously, you know, the last one I had, I, I've had the Cobra 2, I had the Cobra 2 Max. So I, you know, in fact, recently we did a, a video on the Cobra 2 Max, which I was very pleasant with its speed and quality. And now here you have this small form factor, but it's actually a decent size. If I'm not mistaken, the size on here is uh, 250 by 250 by 250. So it's very comparable to the other 3D printers that you see on the market. Definitely bigger than the A1 Mini, which is great. But I think that's where the interesting part comes in is the price point. You get all of this right now for just under 450. Just under 450, you get all of this. That's actually an insane deal. So I'm actually really excited to get my hands on one of these, to put them in my classroom and try it out. But so far from what I'm seeing here, I'm, I'm actually seeing active prints going on 
and they just, they work and they're quiet and they're simple and I love it. So anyway, I'm very excited. You should totally check them out. And uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.